So I wanted to show you a little bit about the goats. These are my goats, my herd. Uh, I think I'm at 28 right now because we've had a couple of babies, actually a lot of babies. So let's see, a little science lesson. Well, there's a baby. That's a young boy, kind of like a teenager, if you want to say. My daddy is way over there. That's him right there. He's bigger than all the other ones. You can also tell the boys from the girls because the boys have this chin hair. See that chin hair right there? That's a boy. This is a girl. So what they do all day is forage. They eat and eat and eat and eat. That's pretty much all they do till they're full. Then they'll go and they'll sit in the sun. They have four stomachs and they bring up what they've eaten to get all the gas out of it. They can't have a lot of gas in their stomach so before it passes to the other stomachs. So they get all those nutrients and stuff as they eat, but it can't break down all the way properly. So then they bring it back up, expel the gas, which means to get rid of the gas. Then they go back and they chew it again if they need to. And then it starts passing to the next stomachs. Um, and that's what they do all day long, pretty much. Eat sit and rest bring up it's called cud is what it's called um here's some babies you can see them and they start eating pretty soon they're still drinking from their mommies but they start to taste everything let's see um what else can i these are called borer goats most of the people shh don't tell them but these are used for eating most people eat these goats we don't eat our goats we just use them for, we sell them at the auction, so other people might eat them, but we don't eat them. Um, a lot of people now use them also for clearing properties. New York City, if you've ever been to New York City, the park there, Central Park, uses them to clear it because they're very good at clearing it. They can wipe out a whole area in a matter of days. So a lot of people are now starting to use them for clearing land because it's cheap and quick and easy nobody has to do the work they do it for you so that's another interesting fact about them um let's see that red one over there her name is cinnamon because in the winter she gets this fluffy fur on her and she looks kind of like cinnamon that you sprinkle on your toast she has more spanish goat in her want to see so I want to show you that a goat only has teeth on the bottom and on the top they don't have any teeth let's see if I can show you what she looks like let me see this do you see that no teeth on the top that's Dottie let's have to find those babies oh look at this one oh and if you notice they kind of blend in they hide Mommies are really good at hiding their babies in the grass, so no predators get them. And there's one right there. They get their horns pretty quickly. Get little nubs. See if she'll, nope, I don't think she's going to let me get near her because she's a new baby. Nope. I'm not going to hurt your baby mama, but you can see how they talk to each other. If one is far away from the mom, the mom will call them, just kind of like your moms do, and they get them to come back. They talk to each other a lot. Let's see if I can find another one. There it is. Not all my goats have names, but some of them do. Tinkerbell, Tink Tink. I'm looking for Tinkerbell. She is actually going to have a baby. Tinkerbell. Oh, there she is. This is Tinkerbell. And she's actually, I had to help deliver her. She was stuck in her mommy and I had to pull her out. She also had a broken leg, so we had to take her to the vet. And the vet said they'd never casted a goat's leg before. I'll send you a picture of her casted. Um, but this is Tinkerbell, and she is actually pregnant. Some of the ways you can tell is, you can see how fat she is right now. Don't tell her, but she's fat. And another thing is she has a bag on the back of her that's getting full of milk for those babies. So 
She doesn't want to be bothered right now, but I'm going to try to show you something real quick. If you mess with this part, you can see the baby's moving sometimes. Oh, she doesn't want to show me right now. Sorry. Well, that's my goat herd. If you have any questions about goats, let me know, and I'll answer them for you.